Mm. 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 Yeah. So, welcome back, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed your drink as much as we have. I've realised I've four cans in, which uh, <laughs> yeah, that's literally like what? That's the that's the magic an hour, hour and a <laughs> half. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I think it's something about ball rats. It just makes me drink. Um, just constantly drinking mm. in this game. <laughs> We're all enabling each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I blame you, Rob. That's fine. I'm willing <laughs> to shoulder that burden. <laughs> All right, so we've got like um, quite an, a story starting to emerge, or a situation starting to emerge. Um, how are you guys finding it for a start? I think is probably a nice, nice question. Loving it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. It's a bit tense though, isn't it? All these like new, very confident, quiet people, but also quite vicious. Yeah, they are a bit vicious, aren't they? Maybe I need to tone that down a little bit. <laughs> but like, oh, I think... love the vicious. <laughs> but I think there's a nice, there's a nice family starting to appear. Um, I like the Cromwell quite a lot, actually. Um, Dorrit and Darth, sweet. they're very sweet. Mm. Um, very sweet. <laughs> um, and I kind of like, like, there's certain things starting to emerge, and I kind of wanted to try and plant lots of little bits to this session i think um mm. and kind of see how we go uh, guys at home i hope you're enjoying it of course um but you know i say if there is anything that you'd like to see more of um do let us know um and of course if you are enjoying it do subscribe and do um do follow us as well that'd be fantastic uh anyone to say hello to while we're here done um we've who have we got back we've got uh well we've got bevins and kurt kurt black up uh, kurt back and uh Kurt's saying, oh, to speak to a DM, please press one. <laughs> Bevins is loving it. And we love you, Bevins. We do love you, Bevins. Big love. Uh, I'm very lucky to be able to speak to Bevins on a regular basis, and she's wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah, only other point, if you do need some do you need some masks and stuff, do check out Heavens, Bevins. Um, because that is something that I know I've just got hundreds of them. Um, I think Dan's going to go get one by the list of things. Um, but if you do need a mask. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's coming so... back with Heaven's Bevan's Mask. Oh. Uh, very, very nice. So if you do want some, do, get, do check out Heaven's Bevan's. Um, and she'll make you some up. That would be great. All right. So um, shall we crack back in? Let's yeah. crack back in. All right, so we were at the pub, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were right. sitting with um, with our favourite tabaxi. Yeah, second favourite oh. tabaxi. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Sir, Sir Adam Prize, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shot's fired. Fucking hell. I'm starting Guess to enjoy you... myself. If you didn't know, um, Rob plays uh, a wonderful tabaxi, French, proper French tabaxi, um, <laughs> called, um, called Cash in, in our other campaign. Uh, please, do, do a little bit of cash voice for us, Tunk. Uh, oh, this is weird now. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I uh, think that there may be something wrong in this pub that we are in. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Let's just steal everything from the till and have a party. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. I was yes, thinking the other cash. day, imagine if like, worlds collided and Oshi and Cash got to me. Like, Would we they hate each over. other? Or would yeah. they like become like an ultimate stealing debauchery team. It's too, it's too much thievery, I think, for yeah. one campaign. Yeah, exactly. Way too much thievery. All right. So um So the Blade guys, the Blade boys have just left. Sorry guys at home, I'm just gonna change my mic. I hope it's not too noisy. There we go. Um so Blaze Boys have just left. Um, and they've kind of gone out and, and Jean Claude um, is, is just drunk some gin. Uh, and he kind of looks over you guys and he's like, you, you, are you gonna, you gonna stay, stay here with me? Uh, well, not if the drinks are so expensive. And he looks over at Pups. 
Look, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got to understand, pups. It's, uh, it's nothing personal. Keep talking. Well, uh, firstly, you don't steal from bodies, mate. You don't do that. And Tunk nods and looks directly at pups. And also, Marblade wants me to, uh, charge you extra. Well, we'll be going then, I think. Yeah, Come shall on. I leave? Should we leave? Mm, Good luck with everything. I'm sorry. I'll forgive you. They'll burn my pub down. You know they will. Yeah, they will burn it down. They'll be looking yeah. for the people that uh, caused the ruckus, you know? That's not your fault. That is true. And they're also not here. We're here. Sitting yeah. with you. Yeah, weird that, isn't it? Hmm. We're looking after your house and not ours. Not even asking for any money for a diver. He puts his hand in his pocket. He takes two gold pieces out and slides them across the table. He brings her on the house. Merci, Bukus. Oh, she takes the gold pieces and looks around for the group. <laughs> <laughs> but no. more of like a questioning look, like. We're really charging people for protection now. I don't think I don't think we want any money for it. I just think we don't want drinks to be super expensive. A uh, gold coin is like a, a week's uh, a week's you know eating for all of us. We want to be able to drink here. It's all all right. All right. Okay. Then talk to Ma for me. And tell her, <sighs> tell her that I I I did all I could. Okay. Okay. And Tug looks around at everyone. Well, that's a resounding yes. Oh, she, oh, she, like, begrudgingly puts the two gold back on the bar. Pup like, picks one up and bites it. And he just takes one gold coin away and puts it back in the till. If you do this for me, I will... Go against the wishes of Marblade. And you will be charged normal coin. Well, I need a fucking drink before we go and do that. And he passes you this little bottle, little glass bottle. <laughs> um, and she drinks it. <laughs> All right, can I, get, can I get a constitution saving throw, please? <laughs> <laughs> Are you anti not? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not poison. It's not poison. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, for, <laughs> for the, the rest of the day, um, you shout out things that are obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing has changed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so you take a swig and you pop it down. Well, that was fucking horrible. Right, we're going to have to go and sort this guy's fucking life out for him. <laughs> uh, okay. And you guys kind of... finishes his drink. Yeah, and you kind of make your way out of sip up. All right, so you go back onto the street. Nice. Okay. So do we speak to Marblade now, or...? But you Hang kind on, of re why? you remember you you remember that um, that Oshi came in. Yeah, Oshi, what what did you want? Right, can they go and find like a little a little nook, a hiding place somewhere? Maybe not a hiding place, but a quiet place off, like away from people. Okay, well you can see um, you can see the map. So there's there's a couple of spaces you can't go. Um, let's just grab the boys actually and let's move them over to the right spot. And let's move you guys over to the pub. There we are. There we are. Okay. 
so you can kind of see the map you can see there's places that you can go um so you can make a decision where you want to go could um could you go down the alley between 23 and 25 yeah cool so you kind of make your way down and as you make your way down the alleyway you kind of the smell of hops kind of feels feels your nose um and you know it's brew day because it it's you know every monday is brew day um it always it's the same smell that kind of comes out of the yellow brew house um brew factories my apologies um but this time you can also can someone do a perception check for me please who's doing it anyone i'll do it then Natural. oh there we go uh, I guess it's whiskey time then. <laughs> so you uh, get to about here. Uh, here. Um, and you see that there's like an open window. Um, and you can hear um, Iris uh, Yolo. And he's sort of talking to somebody. And he just goes, look, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And the first person's like, look, it's some problem. You're going to need to talk to Mar about it. He's like, I don't understand it. I pay you guys money to stop this from happening. And you go, look, look I'm sorry. You're going to have to talk to Mar about that. He's like, look, three people walked into this brewery and threatened me. They said I have to pay them money because now protection is under their uh, purview. I told them I've already paid and they got very angry with that, saying that the past is, needs to be destroyed and the blades are the past. And they said, well, well, what else did they say? They said, oh, well, they said that they were from the Watchers. So, look, the brew house is a very important establishment. It's very important business to the Blades. It's like, I know. Which makes me feel like I might be a target. There's a lot of ways in which I move things out of Black Star for you. There's also a lot of fire here pressurized canisters I have to say tell Ma that I am concerned but as if this brewery if anything happens to it it would be a loss of revenue for more than just myself and then you kind of go past the window around to the back and around the back you can see these stables um, they're kind of like a like an open stable, so it's not like a full stables, as it were. It's more like um, like a shed. Um, but there is no horses in there. Um, in fact, what you can see is like smashed up crates and smashed up um, carts. Um, but you do see there is uh, somebody. There is. Give me a second. Uh... There is uh, like a bird-like uh, Kenku running around the back in the big courtyard behind. And he's going. <laughs> clop, 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 clop. And he's trying to like wrangle the horse, the horses in. And like, <laughs> and he's sort of like, he managed to kind of like see and you see this horse going fucking nuts in front of him. Um, and you can see he's on his own, sort of stood there, trying to calm down this horse. Um, Tunk looks to the group. Shall we help the, the birdie? No, we'll get stamped on. I think I want to help the birdie, though. Such a hero. Okay. And you can see the the clops are sort of like coming towards him, and he's sort of backing up a little bit. He's like, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go help the birdie. Pops and goes with him. 
Tonk starts walking towards the Kenku and the and the horse. Great. Um, so you kind of come up to and you see this massive, it's like a big Shire horse. So you imagine the sort of size of the Shire horse of this like tiny little like blackbird, blackbird Kenku. Uh, big yellow beak sort of clicking and, and hopping at him. But these hooves are going crazy. The eyes of the horse are like red around the sides of it as it's got this wildness about it. Um, can Tonk attempt to grab the reins? Mm -hmm. What do you reckon that would be? Um, Probably a slight hand, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think it might be a slight hand. Mm. All right, let's try it. It's a ten. Okay, so you get hold of it, but instantly, as soon as you get hold of it, it starts wrenching your arm. Okay. Um, and you're already off balance at this point. And Pups, you can see that Pups is uh, that Tonk is struggling. Uh, I'm going to try and up. grab, I'm going to try and anchor Tunk or, or help out on the reins. Okay, so let's do um, an athletics check then, please. <clears throat> you can do it, so you can do it with an advantage, because I'm imagining that Tunk is sort of helping somewhat. Okay. <laughs> that's good. Um, 18. Do you see that the horse is sort of like trying to buck out? Um, but then you see that the, like, the front of the horse comes down, but the back of the horse is starting to kick, and it's trying to turn and spin. Baggy and Yoshi, you can see this happening as well. Um, do, do you think it's the same in our world where, like, um, horse girls ride horses? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, they do, yes. I'm just assuming Oshi probably had some horses back in the day. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> reluctant, um. reluctant posh girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oshi like shouts, well, it's down to me again, is it? Has <laughs> the horse got a saddle on? Um, no, it has like, it has like rain, like rain attachments. Like it doesn't have a saddle though. It has like a... Bridle? Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 does it, Gabby? Is that what, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to get free horse riding lessons because I worked in the stables. <laughs> so, there's, there's a poor girl with old watch girl. <laughs> um, so Oshie's going <laughs> to um, step on... <laughs> Use the terminology. You're going to do it. Well, she's going gonna, she's gonna to... She's going to step on pups. I don't know. <laughs> and then step on Tunk and then try and get on the horse. Wow. Here we go. Okay, oh, so, so let's do um, let's do acrobatics, I think. Let's do an acrobatics. Mm, yeah. The thing is, getting up is not the problem. It's getting on the horse. And I don't know how you can help getting her on the horse. Yeah. Well, it's a six anyway. <laughs> oh, and you kind of like, you swing around and then the horse, like you get on, the horse bucks you off straight away and you have to roll out. So can you do a deck saving throw for me, please? This music is not correct. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, she's drunk. She's she's drunk. Um, I'm just going to put some different music on because this feels a bit strange. La 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 <laughs> la 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 scary enough okay um okay cool so you are going to take some damage as the horse's hooves come down um uh, so let's have a look see how much damage you get taken okay as so you take four oh, four damage as this like you can all see this horse it's like pounding on the ground and Oshi, you managed to kind of actually no, you 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 lay there, you're still there, because um, you did not manage to roll out. Um, as you kind of, and we now you are now guys are like, cool, this has changed from being a let's help to 
fuck our mates in trouble. Yeah. I think Baggy was very reluctant to help. She's not great with animals. Uh, but at this point, it's like, we need to get the horse away from Oshi. So she's going to pick up some, like, a, just a, a rag, like, I don't know, something that's kind of covering some hay bales. And she's just going to try and waft it at the horse to get it to go away. Very cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for an animal handling. Oh, no. <laughs> One of the rarest uh, used. Uh, I've I've used performance on you, which is rare, and now I'm using animal handling. Yeah, it's good. That's it. It's good. Okay, animal handling. Oh! oh. Yeah, it's the horse whisperer. So horse like, as you kind of like wafting <laughs> it forward, you can see the horse sort of like. Like kind of like stepping away from you as it sees you as being bigger than you are. Um and you kind of move it backwards. And as you move it backwards you see that the Kenku has gone round and it sort of grabbed hold of its reins with tunk and they've like calmed it down. Uh and you look down at this kind of beaten, uh broken body of Oshi. Um Um I think I think you've kind of like it's mostly on the body that you've been kind of trampled. Um but the horse kind of calms down, and Baggy, I think you're with Oshi. Yeah. The tongue and pups, you're with the horse. Mm -hmm. um, Baggy just kind of gets hold of like Oshi's shoulders and just just like, "Are you okay? You're okay. You're fine, right?" Well, you're playing fast and loose with the word "fine," Baggy. That I'm alive. Okay. Do you think anything's broken? Um, well, not my legs or my arms, so let's see if I can stand up. Well, come on then. She holds out a hand so that she can grab on. And... But as soon as you put your hand on, you feel this pain going up your chest, like right down the sides. Um, you also feel that your ankle's not taking much weight either. <sighs> Okay, um, Baggy, I think it's ribs and ankle. Okay, right, uh, okay, do you think we can hobble to the doctors? Ugh. Yeah, I could walk to the doctors, but can we not just strap it up? I mean, we can give it a go. Hobbling might be easier. Tunk? And then you oh, guys it's like... okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Tunk takes out the last sweetie that he had left in his pocket and then, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's for you. Okay, can you do an animal handling check for me at two? Oh, there he fucking goes. <laughs> 15. Yeah. Oh, oh. And the horse kind of looks at you and it's sort of his eye begins. You see that the bloodshot begins to kind of move away and it kind of like nuzzes its head against you. Um, as you kind of stroke the top of its head. Yeah. And the Kenku kind of looks at you and says in your own voice, I don't know, can I do a tongue voice? Go on, give it a try. <laughs> uh, he likes you. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, that's my favourite thing ever. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, 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 if I go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name Clip. Ah, uh, my name Tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and, he... <laughs> and, 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 and he looks across at you, pups. Hi. Oh, uh, hello. Hi, Clip. And then he goes, "Hi, Clip." Your yeah. horse? Yeah, it's Yolo's. Why is it scared? Someone came and scared them. Who? Uh, who? And it kind of like rechanges its pitch. <laughs> Horrible men. Uh, yeah. do one of them look like an elf? 
Uh, no. Oh, okay. What well. did they sound like? Uh, they sound like, uh, humans. Humans. Uh. Your friend uh, okay? And he Hoshi. looks over at Hoshi and he like, points at Hoshi. You okay, Hoshi? Has Hoshi heard any of this? I don't know, have you? Well, yeah, because I think she'd say, this is what I was trying to tell you before we got involved with this feathery thing. Ooh. This is Clip. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Clip. Uh, it's a actually? pleasure, Clip. <sighs> um, and uh, Ashi takes out <laughs> um, one of the like bits of bread that she brought, and it's all smashed up. <laughs> Because obviously it's been trodden on. That's great bread you got there. Who 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 is it? Oh, someone get Tunk, get rid of this, please. Uh, Not fully rid, but just away. Uh, thank you, Clip, for your time. Uh, we're <laughs> gonna be going now. Okay. And okay. he kind of goes to the horse and he kind of takes him in. I don't know about you steps. guys, but I really like Clip. <laughs> Darren wants to know if the horse is called Clop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most Darren. definitely. It gets taken into a little stable section where it has a little hanging above it. it says um, it says the thirty-six champion of the water deep races, Clop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Does, uh, do we? Would any of us know? Can I? Can I? Uh, would it be a nature check or a history check to know about Kenku? Um, I think it'd be a history. History. Yeah, history. Ten. What is it you wouldn't know? Uh, just about their what, like why they keep repeating. Okay. Um, I think you, you know enough to know that they mimic other people's voices. They don't actually have a voice themselves their own yeah. voice. They mimic other people's. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and see if I can find like a some, like a piece of wood that or she could maybe use to um, stabilise herself or like use as a crutch if she wants it. Mm -hmm. So you guys know of two doctors on the street. There's Dr. Hookie and there is um, also, um, the Lou family. So that would be little Lou, who's a dentist. Um, mini Lou is pretty good for surgery, but, um, little Lou, which Tunk knows little Lou, is who you had the arm wrestle with, yeah. is a dentist. So you, you, there's the two doctors. How bad is it, Oshie? Do you want to go and see someone? Um, no, but I'll probably have to. Yeah, I gotta go and see. Okay, but quickly, before we go, I need to tell you this thing that I've been trying to tell you all day. <laughs> I watched the three people smash up the curb and throw stuff through YOLOs. I then followed them and they went into the Watcher's Tower into a back window. There's a ladder right at the back of the tower, and they went up through the window into there. That place has been abandoned for a while. We can't really hear you, Tonk. That place has been abandoned for a while. Well, now it's not. Interesting. So they must be the Watchers, then. The ones doing all the graffiti everywhere. Dorrit was telling me about it this morning as well. Yeah, I heard them talking about it in the brewery as we went past. But yes. go on. If we know where they've gone, then that's going to be very useful to Mar Blade. True. Yeah, we're not, especially if we're trying to make sure that they don't burn down uh, the shot house. Then. Um, Maybe we leave with that. 
We're not telling her. We have to tell her. We can't tell her. This is Blade's territory. Yeah, and what was it? Wasn't the person that was just at the pub, that elf? Wasn't he a watcher? Yeah, but I think if we don't tell her and Ma finds out, we're going to be in trouble. And we're already in pretty much trouble already. Or we let the watchers take over from the Blades. And Tonk looks around to make sure no one's watching. You can't say that round here. Well, I just did. No, because obviously we're not very well liked by the Blades at the moment. So imagine if we just let the watchers take over. Yeah, but then who dies, Oshi? Well, we do. No. Like, Nana Lou. Why? Agnew. Well, they're, they're smashing windows. They're setting fires. Yeah, to get the blades out. To, 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 they're marking their territory. Yeah, by killing, by killing our they people. Haven't killed, they haven't killed anyone. Not yet. It's been yeah. a long day. When he saw someone break someone's arm in a pub, for, like, no apparent reason... We the don't blades... know what kind of rain they're going to have. They are going to be potentially way worse than the blades. Yeah, I think so. The blades <laughs> broke... are bad, but at least he we know the what they're like. You, you broke the blades arm. Yeah, over the... nothing. So what they're happens not innocent. When... So what happens when someone can't afford to pay extra protection money that they've already paid for the blades? Look, I hate my blade, all right? I can't I stand her. I can't stand the blades, okay? But they're ours. This this street is ours. We can't allow someone to come from wherever the hell they've gone and start do, doing whatever they want here, hurting our friends, smashing windows, starting fires. Because then what happens next? Well, we could become associates. Oh, I think we take a vote. All in favour of telling the blades? Oh, this is the worst idea ever. Doggy? Put your hand up, Oshi. This is such important information. We're just going to give it to the Blades. No. Okay, all in favour of keeping the information to ourselves. But Oshi, like, it's, it's, it's sore to do that. Mm. As you put your hand up, you can kind of see that she's like... Ugh. Okay, well, before we do anything, we got to take you to a doctor. Look, I'm not saying we just give it away easily, Oshi. But maybe there's a re... Maybe we can do something with this information and... I don't know, forge some sort of partnership, go up in the world, stop scraping around for odd bits of coin. Information's valuable, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't know how much the watches have got. And uh, what happens if they, uh, I don't know, come for someone that you like, someone that you care for, one of us? He said he respected me in that pub. I, I'm just, you know, he pulled the pint up to me because it was someone he respected. Come on, he must know about us, or at least me. Who knows anything about us, though? Apart from everyone on this lane. No one from anywhere else is going to have a clue who we are. Right, well, I was supposed to go and see Billy today anyway. What I didn't he say at the funeral before all the situation with the ring happened? Why were you supposed to see Billy for? I don't know. He said. Okay, so if we're going to speak to the Blades, what are we saying? Do we know something or do we not know something? First think... of all, we need to come up with the reason why. Pups had the ring. And then suddenly this like bucket gets kind of thrown out of a window and you just get this hit of the smell of sewage kind of hits into your nose. Sorry! And this window kind of shuts. Oh, she doesn't need this. Baggy just kind of looks at the sewage and is like, huh, I can't smell that. 
Like, you know when someone's trying to smell something because they can't really smell it. You will see Baggy on the floor on her hands and knees, like, over the sewage. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one who needs the doctors. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Little Lou and see if they can figure things out. Yeah. You guys need help. <laughs> but I think if, um, if Mar Blade knows that we've got information about these... Watchers, she's not going to care about a ring. Agreed. This is serious. That's true. This can be our peace token, whatever. I don't want peace with him. Well, you're willing to help him, though, aren't you? I'm willing to help this street, Oshi. Okay, enough freaking quabbling, okay? We need to get out of here. Come on, Oshi. And he, like, so grabs which... her at the shoulder and the waist. So which doctor are you going to? Little Lou, you go get a little Lou. All right, so you um, you go across the street, uh, you come out of the alleyway, and you go to number, which was uh, a number ten, which is this n enormous building actually, over here. Um, it's quite a large building. Um, is it number fourteen? I think it's number fourteen. No. no, it's not. It's number 10. Yeah. Number 10. Great. Uh, it's actually this little building. <laughs> uh, as you go in, it's sort of like you see this kind of young um, seven foot Goliath. Um, and she's like, like cutting down this like big like lamb. Um, you can see the sort of the skins are being hung up at the side and they're marked already um as being for um for hide and sleek um and they've always got almost got like a, a marking on them saying that they're going to be sold there uh, and you see her like like smashing it through she looks up would it be uh awful again no no we're looking for a little low ah ah i don't think she looks over at she. I see. The back room. You kind of go round the counter into the back and you just hear this. It's like, don't worry. I'm just going to pull it out very, very quickly. And you see this like this ginormous eight, uh, eight foot uh, grey Goliath holding onto somebody's teeth like this. It's like, Ready? All right, no, I'm all ready. Three, two, one. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. And he brings it up. He's like, see, rotten right to the core. That's all those sweeties, Mister Stranger. He's like, it's stronger. He's like, sorry, stronger. And he like falls into this like little pot. Like, up you get. It's like, please. And he like drops a couple of silver pieces into his hands. Like, thank you very much. And he kind of turns around and he's got like his eye, like loads of magnifying glasses. And he's like, it's like ah, hello. Hello, hello. Ah, is it you need another tooth replaced? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh... Well, Ashi got kicked by a horse. Ooh. And he kind of like, please, please come. And, he, and and he goes into full care mode. He's like, brings you over to a table and like, lies you down. Ooh, okay, lie, lie back, lie back. And it hurts like hell to lie backwards. He goes, do you mind if I... It's fine. And he's like, just touches on your rib and you scream out in pain. So right, one, two, three, and you're like, oh, it's like, okay, that's three broken ribs. Okay, and let's have a look at the fourth. Does that hurt? Okay, you're quite lucky. That's three broken ribs. And then he comes down and say, and where else is? And he looks down at your ankle, and your ankle is like this, like, so, okay, I don't need to touch that one, but I do need to set it. 
you ready? Uh, uh, Miss Baggy, I, I probably would be best if you maybe held on to her. There is a stick um, just next to the table there. Okay. You Get take stick. And you kind of place it towards Oshi and she bites into it. Okay, ready? Okay, it's going to be on the count of three. Okay. So, one, two, and he just like puts it into place and you scream out. It's like, okay, good, good, good. Mother! And like, you see, you hear the sounds of the creaking floorboards as this old Goliath comes down. Well, hello, Oshi. She's wearing this kind of like, um, like checkered uh, apron. And she's covered in like sugar, like sugar powder. What's it called? Icing sugar. Mm. Uh, she's like, oh, I see. And you can see like all of those are swelling up. Okay. You seem to have some broken bones. It's like, mother, I have set the bones. They are ready to be healed, but unfortunately, I do not possess the magic that you do. All right. She kind of brings her hands together and puts her hands onto your leg. And you can kind of, you begin to feel the strength kind of come back into the, into the bone, into the muscle. And then she goes over to the, to your ribs. And then she comes back and she's back to your ribs. She goes, okay, and then she gets back to your ribs. Like, it seems that your uh, ribs do not want to to fix. Uh, I must admit I have not treated many of you one tier, except for that time that you broke your finger, of course. What was it you said you slammed it in a door? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Bear with me. Ah! <laughs> and she kind of calls up and there's like this kind of like very handsome chiseled chin uh, middle aged like silver fox I'm talking a silver fox kind of comes down it's like grey floppy hair kind of coming through and these tattoos all over his body it's like uh, yes it's like uh, have you got any uh, ointment at all it's like oh, bear to me a second and he goes over and he opens up a case. And inside this case is like hundreds of different herbs and spices. And he kind of like mixes it together. And kind of gives you a small vial. And it says, um, who is your most trusted friend? Um... Pick me, pick me. Because they're going to have to place this on you. And it's on your back. I like I like placing. I like placing. Mm. How many times a day? Once a day. For how many days? Seven days. Uh, fine. Baggy. And he kind of goes and hands it over to Baggy and he looks you in the eye and he gets Miss Baggy, please. Very important. One part mixture of this particular blend, two parts water. You need to blend it together with your hands for five minutes. Place at least one centimeter onto the infected area so that it can reduce the swelling. And it will act as a, uh, uh, take the pain away, as it were. This needs to happen once a day, maybe at night before she goes to sleep. Fine. But, uh... For how long for? Because seven days. Seven days. And yes. uh, how much is it going to be? <laughs> well, I'm. Uh, I do have a mangle that needs uh, fixing. Okay, I can I can do that for you in in return for this. Easy peasy, it'll be fine. Good. Look. Uh, when you were younger, you know, the Nanalu brought you in. 
made sure you had somewhere to stay, somewhere to sleep. We care about you. We're part of the family, as it were. Now, make sure that uh, Minnie gets you something to eat. Ah, oh, okay. And uh, Nana, <laughs> Nana Lou's like, whoa, whoa, hang on a moment. <laughs> that's, um, that's a lot of ink. <laughs> and Pa's like, I know. This is Baggy, Oshie, Tonk, and Pups. Nana looks across at all of you, and you remember, like, certain fairy tales that she used to tell you. Um, you all have a different fairy tale that you remember. So, could you guys give me a title of the fairy tale that it was your favourite told by uh, Nana Lou when you were but eight years old first come to Black Star Lane? <laughs> the Bigfoot Mountain. <laughs> okay, Pops. Uh, the March of Farida. Ooh, the March of Farida. Was he? Um, the Moaning Humans. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great giant tail, that one. <laughs> a little, a little giant tail. Um, <laughs> and Baggy. The orc apothecary. Ooh. As you kind of like make your way downstairs, um, there's already a package waiting for you. As you see, Minnie. Now, Minnie was a really, really great friend of yours when you were little. Um, she was slightly older than you, um, but she she was always there for you guys. And she kind of slaps it down this piece of meat. And she goes, like, it's a good cut. Thank you, Minnie. Thanks, man. <laughs> no worries. She, like, we rises. should go for a drink sometime with the five of us. <laughs> I'd like that. And she, like, spins the hatchet on her hand and, like, smacks it down onto the, onto the table. What do you say, uh, tomorrow? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something different. Maybe we go to the Pollock. Uh, okay. As long as it's not too expensive. And she leans in. Or we go to the new place it's just opened up. Where's the new place? Hmm. And she kind of like nods towards the right. She says, uh, the old watch. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, come pick me up. I'll just pop next door. Maybe we can get in with a bit of meat. What do you reckon? Sounds great. <laughs> good. Wow. Well, put it down. You, and she points at you, pups. Fuck off. You, she points at Tunk. You're a wanker. You, and she points to Baggy. You're a prick. And you, and she points to Oshi. You can just fuck right off. And as she goes, fuck right, and you join her and go, fuck right off. Fuck and so... off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck out of my shop. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. As the, kind of the door opens, as you kind of leave out into the ship, into the into the street. Um, just before, just as they were leaving, Oshi put the um, custard slice on the side. <laughs> that was actually still okay. It wasn't too bashed, so she just put it on the side, didn't say anything and left. Yeah, as you kind of turn around, you can see her, like, pick it up, giggle, and just stuff it in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on, so on the way out, um, as we're sort of walking, Pop sort of looks at Oshi. And then looks over at Tunk. Didn't you get kicked by a horse? Yeah, I had a fight, but that was a centaur. <laughs> oh, I thought you got kicked by a horse horse. Well, it's kind of a horse horse. It's a, it's a half horse. <laughs> There's a lot of horse beatings going on with this group, I think. Just give it time. You guys will see. 
Okay. So, uh, so I guess we've got our in then. Yeah. It's opening up as a pub now. Yeah. Well, at least somewhere we can drink. Yeah. I felt bad though. We said we did look after the shot house. What do you mean? Well, it's not going to be as expensive a day anymore. And now we're going somewhere else to the people who tried to to break up YOLOs? How many are spies, Tom? I don't know. I felt funny about it. All right. Um, How about this? How about we just steal the drinks? Oh, I don't know about that. How about we just get information? Yeah. Okay. Good. So are we going to talk to Mama Blade or what? Mm. I don't know anymore. No? No, because if we're going to this old watch place or whatever that's probably to do with these watches, we can't be seen going in there if we go and tell Mar, Mar- Blade. We need to find out what's what's going on first. I can get places seen? without being seen. Yeah, you can. I mean, I'm not so sure about me. Tunk. Yeah, I'm not that quiet. No. <laughs> but I don't think we can tell Marblade yet. So we go into the watch tomorrow. We have a look around and see if we can get information. And then once we got information, we can tell the blades. Why are we mm. going to go to the watch tomorrow? That's when we go for the drink, right? Maybe. That's when we're going with Minnie for the drink. Ah, so you want to go before we go with Minnie? I mean, it's right there. That's true. I suppose if we get caught, we could always say her name. We know she's something to do with it, right? Who? Minnie. (sighs) She just wanted to go, right? Does she know people there? She just... I don't know. I think, well, oh, she. Yes. Why are you so quiet? I've just got something I need to do before we go anywhere. Also, I don't know how good I'm going to be at running away if something does happen. We won't have to run. Don't worry. I want to try out that new move that I saw. (laughs) What have you got to do? I just need to go to YOLO's. Why? They didn't drop off the grain at the bakery. It's not anything bad. He just... Baragon just asked me to go over. Do you want to go now? Yeah, do you guys want to wait outside? No. Or you can come in. Yeah, let's go. I don't want a drink. Yeah, then we come back here. It's your round. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're going to go up to um, the brew house, uh, the brew factory. And it's still kind of like being smashed up. So you sort of see a couple of people uh, from the market that are like putting boards up over the windows. And uh, as you go towards the door, there's uh, like an orc. And he's like, oh! Hang on. You have a work permit? Hey? Do you work here at the YOLO's Brew Factory? Yeah, we do. Where's your work permit? Oh, uh, we've already been in today, haven't we? Mm. So it's inside. You should have it on you at all times. I can't let you through the door unless you've got a work permit. We just want to speak to YOLO. Oh, wait, hang on. And <laughs> he kind of goes over to like um like a tube that's on the on the wall. And he kind of walks over and he kind of like. What's this guy's name? Lanyard. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name, Tunk. 
What do you want? Listen, tell him that Oshie's here to speak to Iris. He's very busy today. Uh, is there anything in particular that I could pass on as a message? Tell him that he owes someone something, so he needs to come down here and sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> guy, and then literally guy, you man. you literally hear <laughs> oh my god it's like, oh. and like suddenly uh you see it kind of comes downstairs and uh yolo comes down uh and it's this uh slightly drunk <laughs> looking um like you probably say that in a past life they would probably be some sort of ranger maybe um <laughs> just by their build but they're very drunk um and they kind of come down they're an elf and they're kind of just like what do you mean i owe something um and actually kind of <laughs> i can't think of a better word than chirps is up to him <laughs> <laughs> she flirts her way over to him and um slides her arm around his like shoulders and just says, I know what happened today and I'm really sorry, but you make sure you drop off that grain, won't you, tomorrow? Or I can take it over now for you. And they grab the, your arm and you kind of put it down. But enough people saying I owe them stuff today. What grain? The grain, Baragon's grain for the bakery, come on. Oh, Baragon, you should have said so. Silly person. So, and he goes over to the tube and like, I'm good at you, don't forget me, sir. Yeah, I'll be there in the next few minutes. And then you see this barrel kind of like come down the way, turn and go straight into the bakers. There. Mm -hmm. We've come all this way for a barrel of grain. Silly. He like leans against the wall. <laughs> we know who I am. Um, I was no, no. Okay, Yala. Thanks for your time. Well, no worries, Mrs. Tunk. I won lots of money on you in the last fight. It's very um. good. Thank you. Well, I, I'm going to win the next one as well. Good. Good. I mean, kind of goes so just falls through the door and doesn't <laughs> sleep. And you see, like, a group of people, like, literally, this is like, almost like someone's job is to come in and pick up the body of the fibrous yellow and carry them up the stairs back to their office. Um, and they kind of carry on. How is the, the 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 opening room? How empty is it right now? Um, this is like you, the front of the uh factory yeah. is actually more like kind of imagine like you know where you have like a showroom. Yeah. So it's sort of like that's where the kind of the main offices are, and then you go through there into the factory itself. Has everyone carried Yolo out? Is it empty? Um, you've still got the orc standing in front of you. Can I help you? Can I please ask that you move on? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go and get a drink. I think I need a drink. And Tongue quickly runs up to the tube and burps through it. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take inspiration. Great. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> So where are you? So you guys are not going to go to the Mar, Mar Blade then? No, apparently not. Oh, interesting. And where are you going to go for drink? Watchtower. The watch, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, you go straight through the front door. 
Hmm. Can we scout out what the front door looks like first? Okay, let's get there first. Yeah, I'd be up for a steep round the back. Almost like, right. let's just see if anyone is around at the front before we okay. find so, it. So this is, uh, what, two o'clock? Mm -hmm. um, okay, and you stand in front of the old watch, and the old watch is sort of like a very tall um, brick building. Um, I think it's about three stories high. There is a green lantern that sits outside, which you guys have never, ever, 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 ever seen lit. And um, this place was abandoned way before you guys got to uh, Black Star Lane, and you know that there's never been a presence since you've been there of the, of the City Watch. Um, outside are two people. Um, they're leaning against these fences here. Um, and they are, they're kind of leaning aside of it. The whole building looks boarded up. They look over at you, t you four. What? What? One of them kind of opens their cloak and pulls a dagger out. What? I'm thirsty. Loads are back in. What's the password? Uh, Swedish. <laughs> he turns over and he looks at the other one and says, like, I think this guy's like a... Um, we saw Elf on today. Can you do a persuasion check, please? Yes, Oshi. Come on, Oshi. She can't run, but she can speak. Oh. Uh, Ten. You saw Alphon. Yeah, we saw him today. Um, in Le Chat Maison, he told us to um, come and see him. What? Kind of steps out of the way. You kind of go towards this big, like, steel door. And you knock on the steel door. Who are you here to see? Alpha. And it closes and the door opens. As you kind of walk in, this whole place feels like it's got ghosts. Like, it feels like it has history. It feels like... There have been people that have been locked up in these cells and have been badly treated in these places. Like, it doesn't feel like a nice building. There's, like, um, sort of graffiti that has been sort of sprayed across the walls. But as you kind of go through the first corridor, you see in the room to your left, and there's a big room. And there's, like, different tables being set up. Some of them have got these big wheels on them. Uh, some of them have got green felt across them, uh, and there's cards. Somebody is, like, collecting and distributing sort of, um, like, like, plastic, like, not plastic, wooden coins um, around, and there seems to be, like, a cashier's desk. And you kind of go around, and you go up the stairs to the old superintendent's office, um, and there's two heavies stood there. Wait. He kind of puts his hand out. Knocks. And waits. And you just hear a voice. <laughs> and he opens the door for you as you walk in to the old superintendent's office. And it's kind of like a, a big wooden desk and you see Alphon with his feet up. Um... And you see behind him in a window, he's got a, like a spyglass, which is looking out of the window. And um, behind him, sort of in paint, is this big eye that he's painted. Ah, it's you. And your three mates. What can I do for you? Interesting to see you here. Hmm. 
See, I uh, I do like to get out, see the community, see how can I can help. Maybe spend a little bit of coin here and there, you know. Taste the air, smell the shit, you know. Mm. See the sights. He kind of looks at you. Anyway. <laughs> So who have you helped? I'll try to liberate some of those poor unfortunate merchants from the control of certain organisations that are taking advantage of them, I would say. I'm pretty sure you threw some, uh, some stones through a window. That doesn't sound like liberating to me. Sorry, who are you? My name's Tonk. Who are you? <laughs> oh mate, are you fucking dunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> nice. I lost a lot of money on you. Hey, you should have bet for me to win then. Hmm. I made an agreement for you to fall. Didn't happen. Well, I know I that's fall. not your fault. It's someone else's fault. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bet for me to fall so much as for the other person to fall. So when are you been asked to fall on his next fight, Mr. Tunk? Uh, I'm not really willing to tell you nothing. We've only just met and you haven't told me your name yet. <laughs> That's true. Can I get you guys a drink? Yeah. yeah. He goes over and he pulls it and gets five glasses out. She like um he brings over like two bottles. One's clear and one is brown. We'll just have for whatever you're having. Mm, he grabs the brown. Pour some out. Cook with him. So when is Alphon? Now you know who I am. He takes a shot, puts it down. So when are you going to fall? Uh, uh, look, I can protect you. I can look after you. If you're worried about the blades, don't worry about them anymore. Why are you trying to get rid of the blades? Well, they're old. They're the past. The rest of us, he kind of looks over at you guys, we're the future. Something new, fresh, exciting. The death of Arthur Blade is a blessing for Black Star Lane. Billy's not strong enough, and Ma, she's gonna pop her clocks in the next couple of weeks. You know that, I know that. She's too old. They're pretty scary, though. Yeah. So am I. He pours himself another drink, puts it down. Do you think you could teach me that cool arm thing that you did earlier? Yeah, sure, give me your arm. Uh, it's all right. We won't do that today. Uh, right. Okay, and he doesn't give his arm. So what, we're just going to drink and have a chat? Or what is it I could do for you? We'll happily drink and have a chat, won't we? <laughs> well, I like you. I liked you the moment I saw you. I have a bit of shit ass. <laughs> it's the shat house. <laughs> My apologies. You, Where, uh... Mr. Pups, in it? That's the one in it, or just call you gobs. What is it? It's pups. Pups, yeah. Yeah, you did me a great old favour, you did. Stealing from a body. Naughty boy. Disrespected a good disrespected a body that d deserved to be disrespected. That did or that didn't? Yeah, it did. Do you want a cigar? Yeah. 
Oh, Spock is bad, doggy. He opens up the box, and you can see on the top of the box it says Big Fats written across <laughs> the top. And he kind of opens it up. Best you guys are back to Star Lane, I believe. That's, uh, that's very nice of you, Alphon. Do they, uh, do they sell these from, uh, where you're from originally? Nah. I like Big Fats. Agreed to turn to our side. Protect his shop. It's gonna be fun. Gives me some cigars on the side. Do you know that Big Fats used to be a jazz singer? Back in the day. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, beautiful voice. We're all warforged anyway. <laughs> did the uh did the cigars slow him down? Hmm. Make it better. Nah, you just want to change to a different location. Hmm. Change of evolution is always a good thing. So we were you at the funeral then? Hmm. Nah. Watched it from our window. And kind of mm. points over at the spyglass. Oh, so you can see everything from here. <laughs> to a point. Did you, uh, did you see who switched out the dagger? That was genius. Yeah. I mean, he gets, goes over to take the end of his cigar and he pulls out a blade and puts it back into his pocket what about mine ah hands it over and he pulls the blade out takes the end off hands it back over puts the blade back in his pocket so why uh what brings you to Black Star Lane? What's uh, such a you not been business? listening to anything that I've been saying? The future, opportunity, change, evolution, death of an old family, removal of the past, movements into something better, the future. So you're an opportunist then. You could saw the say that. You came in. Nice. Yeah. You seem like nice folks. What can you offer me? What? Well, you're obviously here. You couldn't be here just to have a chat. And a drink. Hmm. See, so you have heard of. I don't think it's me. Oh, I think it's you. Well, this has been nice anyway. Yeah. Very nice. Look, we've uh, got a small opening tomorrow. Small party, as it were. Have I give you four invitations? Swing by. Especially you, quiet one. And he kind of looks over at Baggy. Been a little bit silent. Well, she's uh, been uh, taking it all in and admiring that lovely eye that you've painted on the back there. Hmm. It's nice. Like it. Well, yeah, it looks expensive, so. Do you like expensive things? Not really, I don't really see the point in it. But I like the fact they hold a lot of power, just something that looks expensive. Well, you see, he nicks stuff. He beats the shit out of stuff. She, as far as I'm aware, stops secrets from going out into the public for a price. So what the fuck do you do? I make things 
that look expensive. But they're not. Mm. And I oh, fixed ja. things. And I fix uh See yeah. my spyglass has been a bit out of focus. You mind having a look at it? I'll be forever in your debt. Yeah, you could bring it to the shop. Why don't you take it now? If that's what you'd like, then yes. Thank you very much. What was your name again? Baggy. Thank you, Baggy. I appreciate it. Now, I saw that you uh, gave a watch to Ma. Got an allegiance to her. Well, you know better than anyone here that we all do. Black Star Lane. Yeah. But now, I'm in your debt. So we're friends now, aren't we? Equals. Equals, yeah. Yeah. Shop is, uh, old honesty's shop, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So I'll ask you again, Mr. Tunk, when are you supposed to fall? I don't like falling. Yeah, none of us do. When are you supposed to fall? It'd be a shame if uh, the price honestly falls, isn't it? If we're supposed to be equals, then why are you threatening us? I ain't threatening you nothing. I'm asking as a friend. When are you supposed to fall? But you won't give it to me, which I find upsetting. If you were my friend, you'd know I don't like falling. Then here we go, mate. You don't fall. You beat the shit out of the next lad that you see. Tell you to fall on the third, you do not. You fight and you win. Because I don't like cheating either. I'm just testing you. My blade's going to lose a lot of money if you do not fall. Is that understood? Yeah, let me think about it. All right. You know where I am. You don't go throwing stones through our window, okay? All right. Let's do... Uh, are you looking to intimidate on that? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's or is it, it, <laughs> or is it, Or is it persuasion? It's up to you. I mean, intimidation, you've got that as a... You've got that as a skill, haven't you? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I do not. Okay. Come on, mate. Okay, right. I'm going to... I'll I'll use my inspiration to take advantage. Okay. Twelve. I'll take that. It's good enough. Look, you're my friends. Number three will not be harmed. I promise you. Okay. So, got a lot to do. So, if you don't mind, take the bottle with you. Take a couple of cigars with you as well. Don't forget my spyglass. As you kind of walk away from the uh, from the office, you kind of go down, back down the stairs again, carrying this big case. And immediately, when you walk back out into the street, you see three guys across the street watch you come out that door and they watch you go down turn and go back towards on this price and they're making themselves very clear that they're watching you 
and you see that they've all got daggers invisible show as you go back into honest price as we fade Blech. to no 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 we fade to black Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 i hate alfon i hate alfon i have there's a reason i made him an elf like <laughs> yeah he's jumping two points out Ah, oh dear. So you guys, have, I mean, you guys, I think you've met them earlier than I was expecting you to. But I, I, I could them. tell by your reaction. Mary, <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. going, going now? Okay. You're going in there, are you? <laughs> See, I wasn't expecting us to get in, though. I actually did think we're not going to make it in unless we try and sneak in. But then Oshie absolutely smashed it in the front mm. door. Yeah. yeah. So. I actually didn't think that would work, though. So even after <laughs> the door's opening, here we go, right? Everybody's taking a deep breath. I love how you've managed to, to, to convince everyone throughout this whole time, basically like holding your ribs and being like, yeah, we're here to see how fun. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think there is there is something that's interesting of like with Alphon, it's like how there is an element of him that actually does want something to change and something to be better. Mm. Well, that's the thing, yeah, that's the thing that was a bit like, okay, interesting. Is he offering a better thing for Black Star Lane? Mm. Or is he really super evil? It reminds me of Negan from The Walking Dead. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed this week. I think uh, we'll see how this what happens next week. As we move deeper and deeper, especially into this gambling no. scene. Yeah, that's cool. Looking forward to see that. Confused. Oh, Rob's confused. I'm so confused. Do I fall? Mm. Do I not fall? Oh yes. Mm. Doesn't like cheaters. Does it? Should you fall for them? Should you fall for him? Yeah, but it's so bitter because Tonk doesn't like cheaters, and he's going, "Yeah, me neither." And I'm like, "Oh, do I like cheaters now?" Or <laughs> <laughs> and you need to see my blade. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, and but... somehow get there. Yeah. It's also here, pups, of like somebody who actually does respect you. Yeah. It's the first time for a day like today that somebody's gone. Actually, yeah, you did the right thing. Yeah. You know. Interesting. Yeah, he's a, he he likes to draw you in, doesn't he? Mm. Don't they? Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys at home enjoyed this too. Um, if you did, of course. Again, do subscribe, do follow us, um, and we can come back next week and see how these guys deal with Ale Fun. Ale Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. guys. As per usual, uh, keep playing games, keep playing role playing games. Actually, there is one part of this, actually, I do want to say is look for your local role playing game establishment. They are all struggling and they all, all need people to join them and uh, they could be online it could be in a physical space but they all do actually really need your help right now so do contact your local rpg place uh for instance mine here in lewisham is rpg haven um and they're absolutely brilliant and i love them dearly so if you do have one locally get in contact have a play uh and of course stay safe i'll see you soon big love 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 love